Hello and welcome. This is a quick start video showing you how you can bring your PyQt and PySide applications into an executable file so that you can distribute it and people who don't have Python installed or PyQt can run it. As usual, we're going to check out what versions are we using. Okay, so 6 to 1, you got it. So I got a file here which is very basic you might have seen this on another tutorial and it's inside a folder called basic and it's called myapp.py all I have here is I'm getting the necessary stuff from PyQt6 we're gonna start with PyQt6 and uh, all I have here is an app making an app getting a main window set central widget to be a queue label saying hello world and this will produce this okay so that's our application so let's go on to our command line first pip install py installer okay once you run this and i already did and you can see it up here you'll get all this stuff installing and you got py installer so yes in this video we're going to use py installer and of course if by any chance you don't have pip you'll just uh, write down pip press enter and if this stuff doesn't come up you'll have to install pip okay so just go to the pip website check out how how you can install it install the latest, latest version and you're set to go now i'm just going to close this for a second this is all you need right here but first we got to go to our um, open containing folder right here i write i just did the right click right there and in my containing folder all i have is my app right there and so from here i can just click here and say cmd press enter and that's going to open up a new uh, a command prompt right inside the, the folder where we are. And here is where I can paste that code. So really quickly, one file will place everything in one file, right? W, this will make sure that you don't get the prompt window, window like a command prompt like here, and then your app. So this will remove that command prompt window. All right, so we got name equals. Name equals, this is your app name my app name and you'll see that in a second and then you put in the name of your file in our case as you've seen it's my app so if i press enter here you'll see things happening inside the folder let's do that let's run this command okay so it's doing its thing even though we have one file it takes a while because it's it's doing the pyqt stuff as well okay so once we're finished we've done that we can close we can close this window and now we have a bunch of stuff in here right okay we got uh well pycash just showed up when i popped up the window and showed you that what the app was doing but we got all these files here now for distribution all you need is what's inside of this and here is the app name that we we passed in right there in name okay so if i run this it should give me the app that we created very simple it's very straightforward. This should be enough to get to to quick start you into making applications from PyQt or Qt and PySide. For PySide, I didn't. Uh, I wasn't. All you need to do for PySide is just change PyQt to PySide. Okay. So if I just uncomment that one and comment this one, this would create the same thing for PySide. Now there are a lot more stuff. There's like. Um, images when you need images in your project blah 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 for example let's say uh this build and this i don't need that i can delete that i can delete pycache all right let's say i had like folders here with images and other stuff i would grab this and all i'm going to do is just place it in there i get rid of that folder this and now all the images that were here uh, my app can access them now inside of this folder it wouldn't all right uh, so there there's more to to, to to this obviously and we're gonna go through that in f other videos this is a video from a playlist so in the description below you can find the playlist and see other videos with more detail about this process I'll see you in the next video